Today we are at the Norterra Organics Composting Facility in Joyceville. This is where the city's organic waste collected through the Green Bin Program, as well as the yard waste collected through the yard waste drop-off at the Recycling Centre, is brought to be composted. The Green Bin Program is the City of Kingston's curbside organic collection program. Residents fill their green bins with organic waste each week and roll it out to the curb for it to be collected the same time as garbage. Now it is collected by the same truck as garbage, but is kept separate by a dividing wall down the middle. By using the Green Bin program, Kingston residents keep their organic waste out of the landfill and instead allow it to be turned into compost. All different kinds of organic waste can go in your green bin. Primarily this consists of different types of food scraps. Fruits and vegetables, grains such as pasta and bread, coffee grounds and filters and tea bags, dairy products such as butter, yogurt or margarine, and even meat and bones. Really anything that you use in food preparation or anything that you can eat can go in the green bin. Additionally, you can put uh, soiled paper products in the green bin. These are things like used napkins, used paper towels, paper plates, even microwave popcorn bags and used Kleenexes. All of that soiled paper can go in your green bin. Uh, you can also put small amounts of yard waste, things like grass clippings, leaves, brush, flowers, and also some more odd items that you might not think of, things like dryer lint or pet hair or sawdust in paper bags. That can all go in the green bin and it will all be composted. For keeping the green bin clean, residents have a lot of different options, uh, especially when it comes to liners. The latest available option is the use of compostable plastic bags. These bags look like plastic, but they're actually made out of a food type material, sometimes cornstarch, and they break down in the composting process in about eight weeks. So these bags are available at most major stores. They do need to bear the certified compostable logo of the Biodegradable Products Institute but anything that bears that logo is acceptable in the green bin program. Residents can also use any type of paper liner in the green bin. This includes specially designed cellulose lined food waste bags, ordinary paper bags, sheets of newspaper, and even microwave popcorn bags. These can all be used to help keep your kitchen container or your green bin clean. Uh, the only type of liners we do not allow in the green bin are ordinary plastic bags or OXO biodegradable bags. These are a contaminant in the composting process as they do not compost and they would need to be screened out and eventually sent to landfill. After the green bin waste is collected curbside, it is brought here to the composting facility run by Norterra Organics. Norterra Organics is a private company that the city contracts to turn our organic waste into compost. The first step of the composting process is to take the organic waste and put it through a screening and shredding process. This ensures that the organic waste is of a uniform size and shape and that it will compost evenly. From there, food scraps and yard waste, things like grass clippings and leaves, are mixed together in large piles or windrows. These piles are covered by a gore cover system. Now this system is similar to Gore-Tex fabric used in jackets and it helps to regulate moistures and odors within the compost piles. The organic waste will spend about four weeks under its first cover system. It will then be moved to a secondary cover system for approximately two weeks. After that, it'll spend another two weeks in a open air curing pad. And after that, it will be tested to see if it's ready to be sold or if it requires further treatment. All told, it takes about eight weeks to turn organic waste into compost. The benefits of composting, whether through using the green bin or through composting in your backyard, are many. The primary one is keeping organic waste out of the landfill. When organic waste goes to the landfill, it breaks down very slowly, and when it does break down or compost, it does so anaerobically, which means without the presence of oxygen. When organic waste composts without oxygen, it produces a methane gas, which is a greenhouse gas, and it's 20 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Landfills, in fact, are the number one source of methane emissions in all of Canada. Additionally, when organic waste goes to landfill, it becomes a wasted resource. It goes into the landfill, it's buried, and it becomes nothing. When organic waste is composted, it is turned into something useful. Compost can be used to help retain water and return nutrients to soil and help in the growing of fruits and vegetables.